It's on the way here. Here. This is so boring. Yes. Inside High School Game of the Week. Make you play good coach. Bringing it to you. And we're off. It's going to kick it. Trying not to kick it weak. A little deeper than they wanted it to. Tackle. Surrounded back down at 227. Rickett's taking the ball to start this game. 20 dollars. Exciting. Open the season. Zero to zero. Welcome everybody. I don't know if you survived the hurricane. And those who still trying to do something pumping our prayers up to you could have been worse than what it was. That worst thunderstorms go through Tallahassee, so it was a blessing all the way. Don't get me wrong, it's not a complaint. Still gonna pray for those. Uh, yeah, all signs. Easy first five yards. Five yards. Head start on this play. First and five. Bring up first and five. And then run through the middle, got through the line, and picked up six. He is already. I love it. Go Raiders. First and ten. It's my time to game of the week. Uh, drop that sack. It'll be second and 15. Nothing to nothing. Zero, zero on that clock. Just getting started. First possession of the game for Ricketts. Another mishap. Handling the ball. Still trying to turn the corner. Gaps is not going to let him do that. Ricketts going the wrong way. Gaps in defense. Fine. Ricketts with a little explosion. Alert, number 11, Jason, Jason Frazier. Big senior defensive back, wide receiver. He returned that opening kick in the first, uh, second half. The game against Preston, 84 yards, kick off the turn. Looking for that, trying to set up the screen, and it going the wrong way. And they're all down. It looks like they're down about the 13 or 14. Going the wrong way, Rickets. Two back to return this puck for Gats and Kyle. Now, roll back there, short kick. They're gonna, Gats is gonna get good field position. And the ball bounces their way, Rickles down to this at the 36 yard line. Gats the county is gonna be very pleased with that field position. One, two, go, get go! Let 
Jefferson County with a lot of signs out there. Hey, we picked up a couple of yards. Yeah. That's why they call it the soul. Back in the Navy. Trying to establish himself in the middle and breaks through the hole there. Missed tackle. That's it. Kind of still moving the ball. That's down. That's down. Oh, wow. That's down to about the 14 first down. That's kind of the sound of the ball. That ball right up to the gut. First down on the 15 is where it's parked. That's the county with excellent field position on that. That snap from the center for Rickers. Got outside that time. It's the block out here. What time do I receive it? Still picked up three like the second and seven at the left. Seven minutes, 30 seconds to go. First four. Yeah, some counting with a little ball control. All running plays so far. Setting up that play action. Griffith responds this time. Gang tackle. Might have lost one. Third down and about eight and a half to go. It would be a good defensive stop for Griffith. On the left, first pass through that back pylon. Receiver never got there. Fourth down, and nine. the Jaguars lining up the punt. It would be a good defensive stand for Ricketts if they could hold them to a field goal. From the 25, it's up. And it's good. And it's good. Bobo rolled over there, but they were able to get it through. They take an early lead. Three to nothing. That's the kind of takes a lead on it.
Kicks it a little deeper this time. Set caught at the 20. Breaks through the hole a little bit. 25. He's up to the 40. Good tackle by Jackson County. Three to nothing. The Jaguars take an early lead here in the first quarter. Much better field position for Rickers this time, starting at the 40. The last three plays were all negative yards for Rickers. We got a player just jogging out on the field. I know Coach Lewis isn't real happy. Another bottle snap. This quarterback is having trouble now. Even when the ball has gotten to him, he had to get him Rickards coming in 1 0. Went in with two seconds on the clock at Crest. Boy, there has been some battles between Tallahassee Rickards and Crest. Gaston County traveled to Georgia, play Lowndes County. Boy, it's rough over there in the south of Georgia, that's for sure. Gaston County looking very good right about now. Breaks through the hole. Picked up about five, maybe six. First thousand yards in the for Rickards in the last five carries there. Right up the middle. Quick opening. And they spotted it back further than what I had. But they lost the yard in the mark, but it's separate. Third and five. Well, that snap came to him quick. He kept it, tried to get up a little bit. Picked up about two. Four. From the 48. Looked to pass it, but it was nobody. Rickards looking to come. This time, only one back to return the punt for Godby. I mean, not Godby, but Gadsden County. Always a lot of talent in Gadsden County. In Gadsden County schools recruited heavily by the Tallahassee schools. Coach Lewis on the field trying to find out what's going on. Almost didn't know him over there. He lost so much weight. Looks like he's trying to get down to halfback size. Whistle. Looks like he's trying to tell him to start the clock. It's four minutes and 19 seconds left in the first quarter. Make sure you follow us at Insights. Insights now on Roku 24-7. You can also get us on your mobile apps on your phone. Nice punt, end over end. Might get a, oh man, that was a uh, child at the Ridges bounce on that one. Looks like it went out about 12. It marked it at the 15. Much better start for the record defense this time. We got and kind of 
pin back a little bit more, but you can pick up insights on your phone Android or iPhone. Go to the App Store. Put in insights. I N S. History, legacy of information up there, stories up there. We change them every week. From Mick and Rick, Insights Magazine, High School Game of the Week, we're covering basketball and football, remembering the legends. A lot of information up there. Fumble, but he was able to catch it. He, oh, he turned that corner. He's in the gap. He's at the 25, 30, 35. Oh, nice move up to the court. Excellent kid. And just that quick. Yeah, it's pretty good on that. Nice run. They're coming on that on that offensive right side, defensive left side for, for uh, Rippers. They have gotten a lot of positive yards, and everything that they have gained so far has been right. three minutes and 47 seconds left in the first quarter. Again, on the same side, able to turn the corner a little bit. That's the time moving the ball. I'm telling you, ball of players from Gaston. Not in your roster, but in Tallahassee schools, the back to the Quincy player for Gaston County. Man, they were doing something. It's a shame to be here. Nobody can get the ball in any school. Get a Rippin's band and a new flavor. Yes, it looks like they wanted to try and get something in the air that time. Make sure you give us a thumbs up. All you people, all you Rippin's for Gaston County alumni, wherever they are, tell them the game is on. They can see us no matter where they are. Week. We had seven countries represented by watching insights activities. Two and a half. Up the middle, got a nice head full of steam. Got up to about the 45. We appreciate that support that we keep getting from you here at Insight. Rickards, gas and They're able to use that. Doing Rickards and gas and county. Focus your own town. See how they're doing wherever you are. Check them, let them know. Back to pass, look at the left. Can't turn that corner, but he did. Another good move. First down. Sustained drive for the Gaston County. Means nothing to Rickards. Rickards is down at the time. Gaston County. Well, I'm looking at that offensive line. My goodness. Going back to it again. He's trying to get it in his hand and let him break it. Gads then coming with positive yards again, mixing the pass and the run. 133 left in the first quarter in what has become a beautiful evening for high school football. Now we hope it can last because we see some clouds. It was supposed to be rain, but we haven't had it yet. We appreciate those of you who are with us. Get us up. Let us know if you're for the Rickards or your Gaston County. Boy, that line keeps moving. And he has legs. They have not stopped. Close to a first down. Maybe a yard short. See where they mark it. Third down and about one. Third down with the 
Jaguars? Or are you with the Ricketts Raiders? Who you with? Up the middle, almost popping. And that's the first time that's the captain. Twenty six seconds left in the fourth. Uh, they're going to run another play. Thirteen seconds left. First down, Gaston County. And I was wrong. This time, tackle in the backfield. Richards. Now, second down. And the quarter is over. We'll be right back. Insights High School Game of the Week. <laughs> And we're back. Start the second quarter. This is Mickey Clayton, the coach, with insight. Game of the week. The Soul Bowl. Gaston County. Complete domination in the first quarter, even though the score says three to nothing. Gaston. Moving the ball. Has the ability to score with a quickness, though. Big hole if he can get to it, right? Down. Third down. Looks like about 12 to go. It seems like so far this Rick's defense has been able to tighten up a little bit. Yeah, not break. If they can hold the gap. To the field goal or less. Yes, doesn't want to keep stepping or field goals. They want the touchdown. Okay, stepping back, looking at pass. First on him. Might need to run for a first down, though. And he does. It didn't take him long as his wide receivers cleared it out for him to know that that was what he was going to do to run it up the middle. Something they picked up in the stop for 11 minutes and 12 seconds to go. This is the territory the Ricketts Raiders skipping up last time. Yeah, the count is very close, very disciplined. Working behind those buffaloes in the middle. And he just stepped through the hole and it is in touchdown. That's the count. Jackson count. Not wanting to settle for a field goal this time. Able to put six on the board, running behind the beef. 
Remember that old commercial? Where's the beef? It's on Gadsden County's line. Insights High School Game of the Week. Subscribe to us. Hit us. Thumbs up. Like us. Subscribe to us. Hit the bell so you can be notified of our next contest. Might be next week. Hit that one well. Another flag. And that's the first penalty that has been called against Ricketts this game. That has been called for a few, but it has not deterred them at all. The snap is up. It's good. Yeah, up ten to. Insights now has its own Roku channel. Insights itself is a dream maker, providing a platform for content creators. Go with Insights Roku channel into 91 million homes. We are strengthening our programs that will continue to educate, entertain, and enlighten our viewers. We will still feature youth sports, Mick and Rick, Insights Magazine, Remember the Legends, and much more. Stay tuned for our creative content. We will continue to appreciate your support. Insights now has its own Roku channel. Insights itself is a dream maker, providing a platform for content creators. Go with Insights Roku channel into 91 million homes. We are strengthening our programs that will continue to. We're back. Okay, that's good. Get ready to take it off. 10, 23 left. In the second quarter, Gaston County up 10 to 0. Another short kick, hard at the 25. There is a hole there. He stepped through it. Goes quickly. He's still carrying with him at the 50. Crosses off to about the 48. One thing about Griffiths is that they are electrified. Still for this. It is a flag on the play. Back at the 33. Gonna be against Ricketts. Coach Lewis trying to get somebody's attention. Now. It's a holding call. Had the gates, the good field position that Ricketts was about to start with, and it's negated. Oh, able to get outside a little bit. Rick is looking for something to just get them going. Second down and nine. Rick is looking for a spot. There's nobody out there open. He's running for his life, trying to turn that corner. And guess that kind of looks like the car.
That's a big one, 15 yards. Ricketts up to the 45. First and 10. Nine minutes and 25 seconds on what I talked about was a, a very pleasant, pretty evening. Now the clouds are coming in pretty, pretty thick now. Not much in the middle there. That defensive line is swallowing them up. They're not leaving much room. Another flag. The way they're standing, it looks like the same. First one, wow, face match. They now accumulated. 30 yards in penalties and Rickets brought it up to the 38 with their best field position of the night. And Coach calls a timeout. He needs to settle his team down a little bit to get them mentally. <laughs> Get your mobile app, Insights mobile app on your Android or iPhone. You can watch it live stream wherever you are. If you need to show somebody something, you can pull it out on your phone and show it to them. Insights on Roku 24-7. Live stream in over 19 countries. Will this be enough to spark Rickers? Oh, Gaston play on. Oh, fumble. Alert. Recovery by Rickers. They just seem to be hurting themselves right now. Gaston does not seem to be worried at all. Will that continue to be the case as we move forward? We appreciate the support we've gotten in the insights game of the week. We've been doing them now 11 years. WCTV2, that's where we started at. Another fumble with the snap. The last two plays on the opposite direction. Coach Lewis just kind of put his head down for a minute, but quickly looking it back up. Knows he has to stay positive for him. Third down. And that looks like about 22. That's why Gaston was not worried about the 30 yards and penalty. They feel like they're good enough to overcome it in this game. And Rickards is not helping them. That's about the sixth time we've had a, a mishandle between the center and the quarterback. Good snap in, blitz coming. Dump out. Got a little bit of it back. It's going to be fourth down in the body left. And here comes the punt team. Number 
four, seven minutes and 20 seconds into the second quarter. Perkins with a late addition. Gets this one up and away. Field it about the five. It's a little room. And then the flag. Oh, my man. Not that it might have been a horse collar. But there is a flag down. Coach Lewis is, is really upset about this one. Or upset with his coverage by his team. It looked like the car uh, holding against Gaffney oh. County. Pushes them back again. Gaffney starts at the 17. 10 nothing. Six minutes and 51 seconds. Gaffney County starting off 0 1 with a loss at Lyons County. Griffith starting one and over with a win over Preston. Thank God he's on the schedule next. Might have penetrated at that time and he just spun out of the tackle. Rumbling stopped it. Might have got half a yard. Jaguars have been very successful running up the middle. Have four wide receivers, man. Pop one. Third down, looks like it's third down and about two. At the bottom of the screen, Griffith was soft coverage. He dropped off the left receiver about seven yards. I almost got away from him. Ball up the middle, keeps running, and gets another first down. Ball up to the 35. That's the count up the middle, running up the gut. That's the count. 10. Now that's a record zero. Up the middle again. It's time for about four. It's second and six. Cats encounter very methodical. They run game very, very patient. Haven't moved the flags yet. Should be about three yards. Five or seven. Third down and two. And Terry Brown said third and a long two. I don't know how long it's been for Gaffney County. What did he run right up the middle? Let's go again. Might not have got there this time. It's all on the ball, Mark. Got it. 
and get a first down on it. Official time. Official time. How? Insights. High school game week. We will be right back. And we're back. Four minutes and 55 seconds left in the half. Gaffin County being very, very patient. Now, one pass they keep going. Hoping that it breaks one. They just try to put it in his hands a little bit. It looks like they got about five yards on it. Four minutes, 45 seconds to go. Inside high school game of the week. This is Mickey Quake. Let's go. They move the sticks. Gaston County with a good crowd over there. Time out. Coach Clinton Lewis. Cutting his troop together. And they make an announcement over the game about us. We appreciate it. We are good. We appreciate you showing us love. Yes, we do. And we got the, the volleyball coach from Rickards. Oh, she, she, oh, she got a lipstick on. Hey, y'all. Boy, y'all there for a treat. Yeah, y'all. Y'all need to make sure y'all go no way in that time. Well, she looking good. Oh, boy. All right, y'all. Volleyball team been rolling pretty good. Well coached. Disciplined group of young ladies at Rickards. I already heard about them. Now I need y'all to know about them. Coach Lewis sends them back out. Remember, they were down at halftime at Crestview. Man, we've had some battles against Crestview. Crestview and Rickards, one of our top five all-time games. But that was, you know, we got it up there on YouTube. That's because it was a little disturbance. The game didn't end in regulation. That's why everybody went back to see it. But here we are. Back up the middle again. Rick and defense tightens up a little bit. That's an adjustment Coach Lewis made. It's like third in the box. Third and three. Kerry Brown said third and three, but I'm going to teach him how to count. Yeah, four minutes and five seconds to go. Probably another draw. There it is, up the middle again. Boy, they just grind it out. Looks like a first down. Three minutes and 50 seconds to go. Gadsden up 10 0. Insights High School Game of the Week. Click subscribe. Hit that button notification down there so you'll know when we broadcast again because we might bring you time. We might bring you goddamn records next week. Again, up the middle. Gaston County just throwing body blows at Ricketts right now. Now, one of the things is always telling in this Florida heat is conditioning, and it affects the defensive line a little bit more than that offensive line. 
It's starting to wear down that gas. I mean, that Ricketts defense. Nobody out there to block this time. He's able to pop to get a first down. And we're right at three minutes. Plenty of time for Jackson. Typically, Ricketts has tightened up on defense once they get down inside that 20, that bend and don't break defense. Clock on hold. Duck under the get running. He got about five yards out of it. He was not supposed to get out of that tackle at that time. Rick and get right. They were in the right place to make the tackle, but did not finish the play. Two minutes and 36 seconds to go. That's in kind. Taking their time. Time. Right. Time out. Coach Lewis wants to talk to him a little bit. Inside high school game of the week. We'll be right back. This is Coach Rockton, head basketball coach of my Southland Tech Bulls. Division I basketball program coming to you today to talk about those Bulls and these exciting times that we're having here in the 70s. Now, you know, one thing you got to remember, the 70s is such a special time here at Southland Tech. And music, music is such a driving force of everything that we do here at Southland. Our cheerleaders, that band, that dance team, and boy, our fans, boy, they really get behind it and get our team going when it's time for them to hit that floor. Now, we got two freshmen, Mark and Charles. Boy, they are as different as an Afro and somebody else for the process. These two guys are hilarious. We only have about four or five left. So three copies of it last week. Go to insights.com. Two eyes in the middle. Order your copy. I hear the whistles. All start. All start against Gaston County. So far, even with the mistakes Gaston County has made, it has not deterred them from being able to do pretty much what they wanted to do. Man, I'm looking at the cheerleaders down there from from Rickards, that must be the varsity and the JV because it looks like it's about 30 of them out there. Not to count this band that's going. Huh? Where's the jam going back up? Let me be quiet. Shh. Don't start nothing, Coach. We won't have nothing. 151 left. That's it. Not worried about the clock, time, still taking their, their time running what they're doing. They're running it up the middle, able to get fumbled. I think, the, I think it was blown dead. 139 clock ticking. Time might start to be a factor for the gas in there. They're taking their time, 130. Seeing that they're doing a ground attack, four and five yards at a time. And Rudy Hubbard would say, three yards in the cloud of dust. It's just very, very, very patient. 112, 111. No rush to get the play in. Third down. Third and five. Looking to throw it up top this time. Under throwing bells. Fifty one point nine seconds and fourth down. Maybe that's the reason they didn't throw deep because that was not a good pass. Mm -hmm. 
seems to be a discussion, but I don't know what the discussion is about. It looks like Gaston County is going to go for it on fourth down. Looks like it's fourth and five. Don't go away. Halftime. We got an interview coming. We got Rick and Bonneball, don't you? He's looking up again. That's another badly thrown ball. Rickard takes over with 45 seconds to go. It's 10 to nothing. You cannot underestimate the ability of Rickard to be able to score now. They have the ability to strike quickly. Decent crowd from Gaston County. They tend to follow those Quincy teams now. Forty-five seconds left. Again, don't go anywhere. We were covering the volleyball team last week or this week. We we're supposed to cover them, but Hurricane covered us better. There's some room out here if you can turn that corner. He bounced off that tech, that tackle. There's a flag. I think Rickards is just trying to get the halftime. They came from behind last week and half, so they're not really worried about it. They'll make those adjustments. Come back. The flag is waved off. That team is what does that mean? And it's not the clock. 32 seconds left. Drop the ball. Look like you hit him off the shoulder pad. Is that a third down play? Is it going to fourth down? Third down. 16 seconds to go. Another mishandled snap. It looks like Gaston County might have recovered it. It's bad that the Ricketts offense has played and haven't really gotten themselves on track. They only down 10. Fourteen point six seconds left. What will Gaston County do when they try to throw it over 10 or 15 yards? They haven't been close to being on target. They've been trying to get it in the hands of their receivers and let them depend on yard after catch. Or are they just going to do a broad play and go in 10 up to the halftime? I am going to play. Gatson County has to have about 65 yards in penalty. Is this the last play of the half? It look in the deep. Throws it deep. Five and a half seconds left. Yeah, they count it. I'm chilling nothing on top of the rivers. Three, four, get ready to get in. Oh, 
timeout limits. Right. If 5.5 seconds left in the second quarter. And I think they're just desperately trying to get to halftime. I don't know how much these young men have practiced the last couple of days. You know there was no school. Typically when there's no school, there's no practice. The Crickets looks like they don't have the timing that they typically have. I have no idea what my camera person is showing up. I guess he's trying to give y'all a, a, a cloudy version of the cloud. I guess I have no idea. I've been married a long time. Daughters. So that's a big review on the spot. They're going to try a punt from, I mean, a punt of field goal from the 49. He has actually had enough leg on some of these extra points. We can drops one back, but they've been short. I know what they're going to do that. Look at the return. Five and a half seconds left. Is this a gamble? Or I trust in their field goal? That end zone, though. Short. Okay. They stopped the clock at 0 0.4, then they started it again. And we are headed to half time. Sure, some of them to be able to get there. Hello, I'm Danielle, a freshman at Southland Tech. I am there, honestly, to get my degree. Um, I saw Mark when he came to my high school playing basketball. He's pretty good in the court, but that wasn't quite the only thing that caught my attention because he is quite a looker. He's a cutie. Um, that pair of blue jeans and a hawk top. It's over. She's got him on lock. Whoever, whatever girl it is, has gotten his attention. Um, as for Gloria... Gloria keeps drama. That's just what she is. That's just who she is. Guys love her because she has them like a puppet. She can make them move however she wants them to move. So, <laughs> surviving with my heart in one piece is a priority for me. Gloria is my name, being all that is my game. I come from Southland Tech as a student who seemed like I'm going to graduate with my degree and from life. I don't back down, and I don't play. Everybody ain't 18 in life. If you can't handle it, don't play with it. Most of these boys are boys. They think they're men, but they don't even know. <laughs> That's why they're freshmen. Just fresh, not men. Why y'all got her with a Southland Tech shirt? We supposed to be cheerleaders or something? Little Miss Goody Twos, is that what y'all think them guys want? Maybe they do. But Gloria wants them in. Did I say that? Well, I've been brought to life in freshmen, and I plan to make the most of it. Read freshmen, but my story is the story. Hello, I'm Danielle, a freshman at Southland Tech. I am there, honestly, to get my degree. Um, I saw Mark when he came to my high school playing basketball. He's pretty good in the court, but that wasn't quite the only thing that caught my attention because he is quite a looker. He's a cutie. Um, that pair of blue jeans and a hawk top. Yep, 
Like more of a camera person. When I tell you about not being able to read a woman's mind, I don't tell you, except I'm playing her. Moving right along, we got Coach Lawrence to see. She just laughed. She's a kicking up volleyball coach at Rickards. We've been uh, talking a little bit. Coach, some of the things we just talked about, would you explain to them a little bit what, you, what the team has going on and how you're trying to deal with some of the major adversity? Would you have, how is Rick having on your upcoming schedule a little bit? Well, of course, you know, we had a hurricane. Our family just came through and so had to schedule, we scheduled three of our games and possibly four of them. Uh, so we're supposed to play on Tuesday, North Madison County, but with them being um, with the direct hit from the hurricane, they probably won't be able to travel. So they're going to try to just work as best we can. Maybe do an in house scrimmage, um, try to see if we can get them in the Saturday and we get them some time to kind of recover so we can try to keep our schedule going. Well, how have you been doing this year? I hear that, uh, I think last I heard you were two and one, three and one. What? Right now we are two and one. Um, but we're doing really good. So our team this year has definitely come a long way. Um, it definitely kind of hurt us to lose our senior center last year. But our center this year has worked really, really hard. So she's really uh, controlling the, the game, the flow of the game. Um, she's uh, a senior. And also my other senior uh, middle, when them two combined, they have definitely uh, worked hard together. They've grown together, um, and they make sure that you know they are in control of what's going on the floor, communication-wise, uh, being a captain on the floor, just doing everything that they're supposed to do to lead our team. Y'all yeah, heard a good thing. Tell me about the uh, big girl you have in the middle. Yeah, that's Jada, she's senior. Uh, she is awesome. She's it's her second year here with me, um, but we have worked with her um, every day to work on her timing and snap. Um, but she's really one of the keys to um, this year, um, along with another uh, junior who's transferred in this year from Florida High. Um, the two of them together, they have really been dominating the front row, the middle um, especially. And we have a surprise freshman who came in as well, too. Um, so she's been working hard as well, too, on that front row. And she's kind of, you know, kind of like our um, offense and defense. But once she gets it, she's going to be really a key component to our team in the coming years. Well, Coach, I hear that they are very disciplined. They, um, you can instill some things in them that they know where they're going. They know what their assignments are. See, we, we've done your, we've done our research on it. Right, right. Well, if you if you have, of course, in the past couple of years, you know, if you watch volleyball, well, we can talk about, you can see the path that we travel along the way. So it took some time to get there, um, but we are definitely, we're not to the top right now, but we're going to definitely get there. With the hard work and the girls knowing what to expect and knowing how I coach and um, learning my coaching style and learning how they, you know, reciprocate, you know, demands or just control the game and um, how I direct um, instructions, um, we are definitely going to just be a powerhouse and we're going to surprise a lot of people this year, definitely. People are not ready for this volleyball, but I am. I know what all summer long what we've been working on and I'm just ready to show everybody in town who we are. Well, Coach, tell us a little bit uh, about who you have in college coaches that need to be aware of. And, and we understand that there's a different level for everybody, you know, but it seems like from what I've heard, you have a couple of people that might be able to play once they leave her. Most definitely. Um, once again, Jada, she's my, my my senior middle. She is definitely going to go to someone's college and make them very happy and proud to have her. She's a great um, leader on the court. She, um, Demands attention on the court, of course. She knows how to communicate with her teammates. Uh, she is her, the, the captain this year, how I said earlier, but I know for sure she's definitely going to be somebody who college wants to grab, as well as um, our senior setter, uh, Javani Washington. She's also going to be somebody who the college will definitely love to have on their uh, team for next year. Uh, what are their academic stats? They're pretty good students. They are. They both have a both have three point five. And change to three point seven maybe, but they're both dollars in the classroom. See that key, you know that that's the first thing the coaches want to know, and they have talked to me about your big girl in the middle. So, yes, yes. and they said she's very athletic. She is. She is athletic, um, very smart. She is such a sweet person, but she really wants to be more than just. A middle, she can do everything she can say. She is one of the key components to our team. 
she's definitely um, come a long way from. I, I remember watching her train at the heart of her dad when she was in middle school. So I don't know what kind of hard work she puts in. So to see her now from where she developed from the past couple of years, it, is just, it, it makes my heart smile that she worked so hard and that she loved her teammate genuinely. And she just definitely loves playing volleyball all around. Yay, working with her dad. I, you know, I, I love those the father-daughter relationship, having daughters myself to play sports. I love it. And that makes it a little bit better for you because if they work with their dad, they can take that just so she's definitely the person who you can critique her. She won't be offended by it. She has no problem critiquing her other teammates. If someone gets down, she'll try to go to them and say, hey, shake it off. You got it. She's a motivator on, on and off the court. So this funny of time, we're right having a tough time. And she'll say, coach, try not to work quick and shoot the team together. And she will either get on their butts and say, hey, she can pick it up. She will um, kind of help the team out with it. Uh, we watch, you know, if we're not passing well, communicating, not serving well. She's definitely going to tell the team what to do because she definitely sees where we can be and where we are going. But she also has been through the struggle from last year in the summertime and building the program. So she has high hopes for us as well, too. What do you see as the biggest difference in this year's team and perhaps just even last year? What are you seeing in them that makes you smile a little bit? That's a great question. Um, I was worried, like I said earlier, losing my, my center from last year. But this team this year, they have really worked hard to learn each other. And I think when you're playing a team sport, you don't know one another. It makes it very hard on the court to you know, communicate. And these girls at the time, like, they have it on group chat to communicate. They do team body on their own, on the sideline when they're watching the JV players playing with all the students together. During lunchtime um, this year, they sit together every every game. They sit together. So this team has really worked hard with just getting to know one another. We have uh, some new people come in, come in this year, but they welcome them with open arms, and they've just done what they can uh, do and what they know how to do to make sure that we can gel together as a team. And, of course, the work ethic. Over the summertime, it was not easy, but they put through it, and they did what they needed to do. And here we are now, and now we're showcasing our talent. Well, Coach, that's always good to hear. You know, you're, you're at a school where the athletic tradition is an outstanding thing. And the volleyball team looks like they're ready to take their place alongside the other outstanding athletic programs at Rickards High. Yes. And I'm, I'm super proud of that because I know, um, if y'all have not seen, we are in the top 10 this year for the Big Band preseason rank. And that was just a, a huge honor to me because I know from 12 years in, my first five years here, it was it was kind of it was pretty bad. So, but we had to work through, and I worked through, and then my coaching staff came in. They helped me out wherever I needed help with. Um, so it just makes me proud to know where we are where we are going. And we also this year just beat two of our toughest um, opponents this year, which was uh, Taylor County and NFC. So just knowing that we can do it and we have done it. It makes me super proud to know that we are now being recognized for the team that we are. And people can definitely see the hard work that we put in. And now we are going to have our name out there in the top 10. And most of us uh, schools don't have that honor. But I can definitely say that we have the honor this year. And I'm pretty sure next year we'll probably be even higher than number 10. All right, Coach, that's outstanding. In closing, I, you better. As a coach, what have you learned over the last five years that has been instrumental in the growth of your team and your program? I have learned to be patient. Uh, when I first started coaching, I used to just, you know, punish like, you know, with doing uh, sprints or push or anything, any mistake that they made, which is good. But also at the same time, I understand that these girls may not understand volleyball from the forefront. So I try to break it down, go, go over um, fundamentals from the beginning, how to pass correctly, do your approach correctly. All of those things I have learned um, year by year. In the past five years, I have learned that it takes more than just me alone to get it done. Um, so in the years before, it was just me with 25 girls. I can't see and, and help every single person. So I'm, I'm happy to say that I'm able now to have a coaching staff of five, uh, five coaches um, and it really has helped with us breaking down groups with passers and setters and hitters. So I've just learned that in order to be successful, be patient, take my time, start from the beginning, and continue to grow day by day.
Well, Coach, I appreciate you being with us. And, you know, we look forward to being able to, to cover your volleyball program and to be done. We appreciate you taking time away from your family and those daughters I've heard so much about and come up here and talk to your adoring folks. Thank you. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you. This is Coach Rockton, head basketball coach of my 
Southland Tech Bulls, Division I basketball program, coming to you today to talk about those Bulls and these exciting times that we're having here in the 70s. Now, you know, one thing you got to remember, the 70s is such a special time here at Southland Tech, and music, music is such a driving force of everything that we do here at Southland. Our cheerleaders, that band, that dance team, and boy, our fans, boy, they really get behind it and get our team going when it's time for them to hit that floor. Now, we got two freshmen, Mark and Charles. Boy, they are as different as an Afro and somebody else for in the process. These two guys are hilarious, and they keep everybody going. Now, Mark, he could really play, but he just doesn't know how good he could be. And that doggone Charles, six foot eight, skinny as a bean pole. Boy, he got to bend over twice for you to see his shadow. And Charles thinks he knows every damn thing. Boy, he got, boy, no, he gets on my nerves. Even though he's just as lost as last year's Easter egg. He can work my last nerve. We're trying to help him grow into young men. Because that's what we do here at Southland Tech. So follow us on Freshman. And we're getting close to that second half kickoff. Hope you enjoyed that interview. Volleyball coach Jemima Lauriston had her lipstick on. She did an excellent job representing her program and Rickards High School. The young ladies up under her. Parents, you can be relaxed. She knows what she's doing. That, that program, she built it. And now it's becoming a, a factor in the Big Ben. It won't be long. We'll be able to put them on so you can see them. But that was an excellent, excellent, excellent interview. We appreciate that, being able to have her on. Richards High School is led by athletic director Earl the Pearl. Just uh, getting ready to start. Coming out. Richards getting ready to kick off going left to right. Yeah, I have to think how going from right to left. I don't know what that glitch was. Just act like you didn't see it. Ten to nothing. Could have been worse than that. Rickard's defense has been able, been able to stiffen when Gaston has gotten down inside the 20. Gaston's defensive line has dominated the game. Oh, it's a gap in the middle. If he could ever get there. Still run. He's up to about the 32. Be interesting to see what happens the second half. Ricketts came back in the second half against Chris Yu. We're able to get that kickoff without a penalty. 11.48 here in the third quarter, 10 to nothing. First 
He kept it this time. Went around in there and broke it. Stumbled out. Still running. He's at the 40. He's at the 35. Can they catch him? 25, 20, 15, 10. Look like he caught a cramp in his leg and stopped chasing it. Yeah, ball. He ran 62 yards for a touchdown. Look at look like the head and all of a sudden, he didn't. I see the officials talking over here. They are holding call. That ball will come back. He has not kept it all night. He's been handing it off. We got it. I said, got it. Gaston County set him up with that one. We called it in the first quarter, said he was going to keep it. That play action. But he kept that one and scamp it all nice. RPO. Rick has had the angle on it. And all of a sudden, it just looked like he caught a cramp in his leg and he kept on going. Man, what an exciting play. Boy, that was what we were looking for Rickett, but we got it from Gaston County. Rickett's caught a break. Oh, now he popped out again. There goes Gaston again. There's the 50, 45, 40. 35, he cut back to the middle. Cut again. A straight, a straight arm. Looked like a jam. Yeah. Gaston County just said, you can't stop us. You can't stop us. Oh, my. He zigzagged up and down the field. Then threw a jab on that. On that straight arm. On the I heard it. They said flag, flag, flag on the play, but I see him signaling a touchdown. I'm looking, trying to decide. Everybody's coming back. A sideline warning. Touchdown is good. Oh, my. Gas that kind of came back. Went 70 yards. Next play. They broke it again. Gaston County goes up 16 to zero. Bag on the play again. But right about now, the flag's on the play. I, we said the first half have not deterred Jackson at all. Offside. Did a good job of getting the ball down because it wasn't necessarily a good. He was able to get that ball down good. Matt Gaston County goes up 17 nothing on Tallahassee Rivers. They go up 17 nothing. Gadsden County, 17 to nothing. A complete shutout here. 
Ricketts has not been in position to even threaten Cats. Still have to watch Ricketts. They had the ability to return these. Gaston County closing the gap. Ball looks like it's about the 32. Ricketts coming out. Ricketts ball at the 32. Screen gets around the corner a little bit, but it might have gotten a yard pursued by Gatson. Very good. Second and eight, 10 minutes and 20 seconds to go. Rick is looking downfield, throws it, he's open, and dropped it. Looks like it hit him in the stomach. He put his head down. Not a lot you could do about it now. Third down and eight. Ricketts could have used that one. One on one, he has to make the first man miss. He did. Made the second man miss. Almost a block in the back. But shit might be Ricketts first down. Ricketts player down. That looked like the first one. He looked like he broke his ankle on that in basketball. Everybody's coming out to check on him, make sure that he's okay. Like Crawfordville Lenders is a place for you to go for your chicken. It's a short drive down Crawfordville Highway located at 2120, right across the street from Walmart. You can get all your fried chicken needs, including chicken wings and chicken tenders in your choice of flavor. The boneless chicken sandwiches are made from whole chicken breast and dressed exactly how you want it. You can even order hot chicken, H-A-W-T hot. No need to go to Nashville. It has a great slow burn to it. Try it. We do chicken right. Crawfordville Lenders go there. Crawfordville Lenders is a place for you to go for your chicken. It's a short drive down Crawfordville Highway located at 2120 right across the street from Walmart. You can get all your fried chicken needs including chicken wings and chicken tenders in your choice of flavor. The boneless chicken sandwiches are made from whole chicken breast and dressed exactly how you want it. You can even order hot chicken. H-A-W-T hot. No need to go to Nashville. It has a great slow burn to it. Try it. We do chicken right. Crawfordville Lenders go there. Crawfordville Lenders is a place for you to go for your chicken. It's a short drive down Crawfordville Highway located at 2120 right across the street from Walmart. You can get all your fried chicken needs including chicken wings and chicken tenders in your choice of flavor. The boneless chicken sandwiches are made from whole chicken breast and dressed exactly how you want it. You can even order hot chicken. H-A-W-T hot. No need to go to Nashville. It has a great slow burn to it. Try it. We do chicken right. Crawfordville Lenders go there. Crawfordville Lenders is a place for you to go for your chicken. And they're carrying them off.
17 nothing. Got about two yards on it. A tough two yards. Kind of did that on the ground. Nice sounds. I'm back this long, corner the long. Out in open field, made some, made the first man miss again. Between the center and the quarterback. Do I hear a whistle again? Yeah, flag down. Second and seven. Oh, miscommunication. Slung ahead. Dr. Ball almost popped out. Rickard saying they have. Third down and seven.
trying to get outside the pocket, doing a little bit behind them. Fourth down. Defense from Ricketts stepped up. 17, nothing but Ricketts still in the game. The defense has not done a bad job. The offense just can't see to get anything going. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Insight High School Game of the Week. This is Mickey Clayton, the coach. Insight. 11 years. We appreciate you all the love and support that we have gotten over the years. This is Mickey Clayton, the coach from Inside Sports. Boy, y'all know I love me some barbecue. I found the bestest barbecue sauce. It's online at BBQ Jank, BBQ J A N K, the Jank. Boy, I'm messing around with that stuff. I no longer have to mess around trying to make my own. I'll put that in a pot, put it on my meat. I'll claim it, but it's from the Jank. The official barbecue sauce of Inside Sports. You better order some for your next tailgate early. This is Mickey Clayton, the coach from Inside Sports. Boy, y'all know I. Punt. Rolling for Gaston County. Rick is standing over the over the ball. They're ready to go. Oh, nothing there. Boy, that, that hole closed quick. Made that first one miss again. Turns up the field. Oh, and Forearm got him a first down. We got somebody over there. That's number three. First and ten. Coming to life a little bit in the second half. 526 left. Take it off. Touchdown this quarter and put them back in the game. Got oh, gas to close those holes so quick. We have a Gaston player injured on the field. Thank you. 
And that gas and kind of train and went over to him. I said, Magic hands. He touched him, jumped up, and ran off the field. Second down, 12. Bumble again. Oh. Maybe I spoke too soon. I'm saying it looked like they had those, those problems. Rickers player went down late. But he's holding his stomach. Graham. He's limping off. We tried to show him to you, but I don't know what. We be doing sometime. Oh, they kind of dragged him off. Four forty four left. Third down in a bow. Win. Trying to get players off. Rickard said it felt like they had they had too many, they had 12 on. Clock stop. Now clock started again. Rickett's going the wrong way now. Behind him a little bit, pressure on him. Got another Rickers player down. Hell boys come is coming from the Gadsden County side. His own power. Seventeen, nothing. Fourth quarter and third quarter. Four minutes and twenty eight seconds to go. Rickards in punt formation. Gaston County jumped off. Five. Won't really matter. It's fourth and twenty. So it won't give him a first down. That's for sure. Uh, 
Stands for Fourth and 25. Gadsden County will probably get this ball in decent field position. And whistled again. I don't know how much the hurricane disrupted practice for records. Looks like it had an effect. On the other side, Gaston. Gaston has made a lot of errors. They're about 75 yards in penalties, but it has not deterred them from having pretty much control of this game and doing pretty much what they want to do. Three minutes and 53 seconds left in the third. Another penalty again. Rickards. That's two in a row. Yes. Fourth down and 20, 28. Decent kick. Not a lot of room, but he didn't really do a lot. It's up to the 50 yard line again, Gadsden County. And good field position. And good field position. Inside high school game of the week. This is the coach, Mickey Clayton. Remember, you can get insights. We're now, we have Roku. Put search in, put insights. I I G H T S. Insights is set up a lot like Netflix. You can pick from the categories and video demand, see what you want to see. You watch the game right this minute on your mobile app, iPhone or Android. Go to the App Store, put in Insights, download free. Oh, he might turn that call. Nice run. Nice run. Oh, somebody popped it. Looks like he was able to get. He ran more sideways than up and down. So north and south, he got about four yards on it. Second and six. Uh, the British Chilies. And good defensive stop by Griffiths. Just need that offense to give them something. Two minutes and 27 seconds. We're going to need three scores to get back in it. Gaston County looking pretty good. Even with the penalty. Different quarterback. He ran one in. His, um, his pass is a little bit closer. Fourth and six. Rick is hell. Now, this coach is trying to check out this tape right here. Let's see, he has a few guys over there. Oh, I thought they might block that kick, but they didn't. So. Takes a gas and county bounce inside the 10. It's down about the five. That thing is still rolling. It's down about the two. 
Griffiths is going to have a long way to go. 141 left in the third quarter. They have a long way to get to that either. But they do have the ability to do that. Ah, yes, marching hundred influence band running it out of the end zone. He break the tackle up to the fifteen. Slow getting up. Nice run. Should be a first down. 126 left in the third quarter. Rick got a little room there. He's gasping 17. Rick at 0, 114 on the clock. And the clock is moving. Ran out of the, the tackle before he could get to him. A quick backs and a quick gear for Ricketts. 59 seconds left in the quarter. Eight yards on that carry, second and eight. Uh, maybe second and seven. Congratulations to the new and the old AD, Earl Hankerson. That's that looks bad all the way. They just lost every bit of yardage they had gotten. Twenty-three seconds left. Griffiths had been moving the ball. Fourteen seconds left. Ten seconds left. And that is the end of the third quarter. We'll come back. It will be the fourth quarter. And we're here for the fourth quarter, 17 to zero. Third down, 15. Down again. I'll start against Tallahassee Richards. Ricketts penalty yardage is adding up. They keep ending up in third down and almost 26 situation. 
probably another place, and it is. This one's against the Jaguars. Griffin skips five yards back. Third and 15. Pass and complete. Fourth down. Another flag. Coach Lewis on the field. He's at the 10. The referee trying to walk him off. First of five against Ricketts. We've had three or four penalties on this one set of downs. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, Gaston, he's Gaston is going to be in good field position. Minus a turnover or a bump. Come off of close to blocking him. Nice quick kick. Bounces at the 35. Oh, then takes a gap. Kind of bounces up. About the 33. He's got the ball. First and 10. 17 nothing as they go into the fourth quarter. Gats is probably just very, very methodical. Ricketts. Slowly walking on the field, look uh, look slightly confused as to who's going on and who's coming off. Guy blue helmets down up the middle again, and he popped it. He waited for his hole and was able to step through there when he saw it. Good job of waiting on that hole to develop, waiting on his lineman to put a body on somebody. First down, we got a pickup. Ball on the Ricketts 21. Got to it. And look like a flag is that. Ball on the ten and a half. First down. He's gas and jags. Seventeen nothing. He's down. Ten minutes and forty one seconds to go. He's gasping for us now. It'll be extremely hard for Rick to come back.
Ride to pick him up and throw him down. Everybody had to quit. We got some players from Rick and Steel playing with some pride out there. Tossed it back. Lost about three. He's gasping, taking the time. In no hurry when you're up 17, nothing. The clock is your ally. Over the middle, wide open. Wide open. Turn back, look back, he stopped running. Wide open. Wide open. He's gapping. But a completely limited performance over Tallahassee Rickers tonight. Well, that snap bounced to him. And he was still able to get it up and get it in. Even when he gets to make the mistake, they still make it a positive. 24 to nothing. Insights now has its own Roku channel. Insights itself is a dream maker, providing a platform for content creators. Go with Insights Roku channel into 91 million homes. We are strengthening our programs that will continue to educate, entertain, and enlighten our viewers. We will still feature youth sports, Mick and Rick, Insights Magazine, Remember the Legends, and much more. Stay tuned for our creative content. We will continue to appreciate your support. Insights. Thirty-seven seconds left to go here in Tallahassee, Cox Stadium. Short kick. Looking for a place to run, and still running. He ended up making about ten yards on that kickoff return. Nine of them he made on his own. We had a halftime show with the volleyball coach from Griffiths High School. And they're two and one right now. Taylor County wins North Florida Christian Family. We were going to do them on Thursday. Just a little. Hurricane Tony Ghost Plains. Need to go back and listen to that interview. That was a, a really a very good job there. I cheated it. Well spoken. Back to the bottom of the team. Rickets might have gained a yard on that. Speaking of the records, one of their former stars has returned to fame you, Marcus Rock. Pitts, throw a block out there. That's, that's the man that was not blocked and made the tackle. Marcus Riley originally went to Louisville, then went to Bethune Cookman, graduated with a year of eligibility is now Florida a and on the Reese's senior watch. One of three players from Florida and then Marcus Riley from Tallahassee. Javon Morgan, another one from Tallahassee, Florida High. Signed with Fam U out of high school. Both of them potentially able to get that recent all star game. That, that's critical for them trying to get to the next level. 
was able to turn that corner. Marcus Riley, a game breaker. He played a little bit of everything at Brickley Street. You know, man, you want to watch family fans, Marcus Riley. Javon Morgan, Javon Morgan, also Florida High. Thought he might pop through there again. The running back from Ricketts, legs keep moving. Quentin Lewis team, their guys are going to quit. 746. First down for Ricketts. Twenty-four to zero. Rick is trying to get on the board, though. Toss down. Loss of three. Second and thirteen. Nothing there. Nothing there. Losing yards. That should be third in about 16, 17. Six minutes and 19 seconds left to go. East Gaston fans. Have not left, not one single person. They are watching every second of this game. Let's throw it up in the air. There's nobody over there. Rip it's a fall to one and one. Gadsden. Will go up to one and one, and what has been a pretty much a dominant performance by them. Very efficient. They found a way to run that ball up the middle from the opening drive, and they stayed with it pretty much the entire game. I don't mishandle the snaps between the center and the quarterback, especially when they were in that shotgun. Never seemed to, to get on the same page. That's kick. Line drive kick. Took four or five of them from Ricketts. They still hitting on defense. And game tackle. Five minutes and 37 seconds left in this one. Insights now has its own Roku channel. Insights itself is a dream maker, providing a platform for content creators. Go with Insights Roku channel into 91 million homes. We are strengthening our programs that will continue to educate, entertain, and enlighten our viewers. We will still feature youth sports, Mick and Rick, Insights Magazine, Remember the Legends, and much more. Stay tuned for our creative content. Appreciate your support. Crawfordville Lenders is a place for you to go for your chicken. It's a short drive down Crawfordville Highway located at 2120 right across the street from Walmart. You can get all your fried chicken needs including chicken wings and chicken tenders in your choice of flavor. The boneless chicken sandwiches are made from whole chicken breast and dressed exactly how you Crawfordville Lenders with the best are not the same. In fact, there's not many of them left. Yeah. 
hard run ahead. You know you're feeling good. It's five and a half minutes left. You come out and Gatson is with a lot of bots in their step running out. They can't wait to get the ball on offense. 24, nothing. Triplets on top of the screen. Got a different quarterback in there. This young man right here can run it and throw it. He's a threat. Gatson slowing it down, waiting on the clock. Not even getting up under the center till it's inside 10 seconds. He kept this one. He made a miss, turned around. There's nowhere for him to go. This time, Ricketts got to him. Gatson County. I think you know I lost almost 10 yards on that one. Almost, but not quite third and about 17 to go. Four minutes and five seconds left in this one. He broke a long one earlier. Rickard knows they have to get to him before he gets ahead of steam. One second, got it off just in time. Not throw in the triple coverage. Intercepted. Ricketts might get their first. Taken down over the 19. Intercepted by Ricketts. Intercepted by Ricketts. Three minutes and 15 seconds. Griffiths wants that touchdown in Gadsden County. Doesn't want them to have it. They want to pitch a shutout against Griffiths. Griffiths fighting hard not to be shut out. Three minutes, 16 seconds left. Big win last week, Leon. Upset NFC. Congratulations to Coach Tyrone McGriff. Has Leon turned the corner? Congratulations, high school football. You never know what you think you know. Waiting on the ref to start it. And they have. Goes to the pylon. Ricketts going for six. Ricketts trying to get in the book. He's gasping, trying to pitch that shutout. Trying to rebound from the performance they had at Lyons County against the powerhouse. He might get in. He turns the corner. Touchdown, save and tackle. Wasn't quite enough to move the sticks. That looks like about third down and four, maybe. Clock at three minutes and two seconds. Rickards on the board. He 
you got to have something positive to end this up with for Coach Lewis to be able to, to talk to him when he gets them back in the locker room. You want to live, want to end with something positive, bro. Because there hasn't been a lot positive. That foot kicker. Ricketts running another man out. Struggled to get there. But he got there. Ricketts with a touchdown. And the extra point. 24 to, to 7 going into the fourth quarter there. Insights now has its own Roku channel. Insights itself is a dream maker, providing a platform for content creators. Go with Insights Roku channel into 91 million homes. We are strengthening our programs that will continue to educate, entertain, and enlighten our viewers. We will still Twenty-four-seven, two minutes and forty-four seconds to go. There's a penalty by Gaston. Assess on the kickoff. Guess this is going to be an onside kick. Doesn't look like anything now. It looks like a timeout. High school game, and you're watching this. He's gassed man. Rick. And we are back. Insights High School Game of the Week. Make sure you give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to us. Next game might be Ricketts and Godby. On side kick coming in. I think that would be a major surprise. Two minutes and 44 seconds to go. Oh, it bounced right up for Rickers. Did they get it? They had a man right on the ball. They said Rickers recovered. That was a great kick. The end of a kick bounced straight up in the air. Rickers was covering it. The energy on those legs from Rickers now spreading off the field. 24 to 7. Can Rickards do it?
Two minutes, 39 seconds to go. Ricketts. Shotgun looks up. Incomplete pass. 232 left. Twenty-four nothing. He's got the difference. We hope the game is brought a little relief, a little entertainment to those of you who have suffered through a very rough week this year. Our prayers are with you and hope that things continue to get better for you. Those are deep. It's a little short. <laughs> Cornerback from Gaston County, so long. Coach Quinn Lewis go back to the drawing board. Be able to get on the a little bit more consistency in this offense. Needs to just and a flag is down. Two fourteen. Gas and county player down. Gaston County gets out there quick when one of those guys go down. And true to our model, we found they disappeared. When we found that the little kid playing the football game, they always say somewhere in every game, there's some little kids having a pick up a pick up game. Third down in about 18. Rick is dropping back. My run has might have room to get there. Might have room to get that nice block out there by Watts, and they caught it. I don't know what he called it. That looks like a good block. Wow. 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 They sure did signal against Ricketts. That would have been the first down. I don't know what they call it. Brought it back just now, third down and 10. 159, and the clock is rolling. Rick is trying to get another score. Almost intercepted by a guest. One thirty nine left. Devin Moore, former assistant director, Dr. Devin Moore, former assistant band director with Griffiths, now in Oklahoma State, head band director. Just recently with a PhD. Yeah, Nia Lee, former Hooper at UCF. Just graduated. Ricketts students throws it up in the air. Pressure got to it. That was fourth down. 
Ball should turn over on down. 131 left. One minute. 31 left. 24 to 7. Because fan did jam. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see what we bring we are next. We might be right back in for Brickets and Daffy. Wait and see. Run up the middle. Hard five, four yards. Number 20. 121 left in this contest. And again, we keep saying, and we mean it. He's gapping fans, enjoying every minute of it. Some of Rickard's fans have been all ready to the gate and came in even throughout the fourth quarter. Wish both teams good luck through the rest of the season. The tackle by Griffiths. 35 seconds left, and that might be the last play of the game. 30 seconds left. 25 on both. These gaps are walking off the field. 18 seconds left. And I think we have a final, ladies and gentlemen. He's gassed and goes to one and one. Ricketts drops to one and one. As the players line up to shake it to the end of the game. Twenty-four seven. Coaches who know each other. We appreciate you being with us for this contest. He's Gaston, 24 to 7. And the, the game was not that close. Game's coming up. Season just starting. Thank you the latest from Insights. Visit our website at insights.com. Two eyes in the middle. I-N-S-I-I-G-H-T-S. Insights is a copyright of Mac4 Enterprises, a Florida corporation. This broadcast is produced under the exclusive ownership of Mac4 Enterprises and is the intellectual.